driver, get your ten, get to betting in. Seven come eleven, you can all go to hell. Make some change, rearrange New York Stock Exchange. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There's only five days in a week. Five bucks for a penny. Where's the money, money? Man, dream and dream my scheme. I had a little problem with my brother down in Texas. Trying the to numbers game. Okay, okay. Look, this week's six, nine. Late at bed, all right. All right, you know I'll do it. See you later. Two, 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 mean crying. Eight, nine, eight, mean dying. Dick Smith and a white woman was on my mind. Lord, here comes seven, eight, nine. Seven, six, five, and it's good to be alive. Show me money, funky, funky money. But baby, baby, give me mine. What you play? The numbers game, the numbers game, the numbers game. Illegal, they say. Life is a number game in each and every way. Take a wrong street and you don't know why you're going. Get caught with a number, slip, work out fine. You go, 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 yeah. What you play <laughs> The number game. The number game. Kim, believe me, I wouldn't do this for anybody else but you. Who can eat at this time of the morning anyway? Not even for my own mother. I appreciate it, Tony. You like my place now, huh? The only good Italian restaurant in town. You know, you haven't been here in a long time, Akeem. See? We've redecorated, expanded. You're making more money. No, less, really. You know, the narcotics business is in the slump. Various factors, competition. But I expect to make a great deal of money soon. From numbers? It's the only convenient source, Hakeem. I would have you otherwise. After all, we grew up together, went to the same school. But Chicago calls the shots for me now. You know that. I need the southwest side. Like I told you before, you can keep prostitution. Later on, I'll cut you in on the hard stuff. You just give me the numbers. Tony, I've told you before, I don't go that way. Drugs is your thing. You and Mama Lottie are into that. Numbers is my business. And I intend to be left alone to do it. Now, that's all I came here to say. Why don't you understand that you're powerless? You're losing your grip, Hakeem. You don't seem to understand that you just can't do anything you want anymore. You know I know every move you make. Uh, you don't pay your people enough or treat them right. Something. I've known your exact schedule for weeks now. That you worked out of the pool room on Main Street right this minute. <laughs> well, I know who to get rid of to take care of that. I don't think you do now. Anyway, it doesn't make any difference. The contract is out on you, old boy. And the order came from Chicago, not from me. Understand? I understand, Tony. But call them and, and get them to give me 30 days to liquidate. When a horse is out. 
I don't go that way. All right. But remember what I said. One of your people works for me. And I know everything you do. You play games with me and you'll be a dead pasha. I told you I understand. Step outside with me for a minute and hear something I want to say. He can hear anything I can. But Tony, you frisked me and relieved me of my gun. This is your turf. What could be more safe? Don't worry about it. She can amuse your friend for a minute. Anyway. Who's afraid of a contract now? <laughs> Chocolate won't break you out. That's a pretty. to pick up my gun from Tony's bodyguard. Don't worry. I took care of the bodyguard. Tony said there's a rat in the organization. You check it out. But I'll take care of it, okay? Okay. This is an election year, Harvey. If I'm going to be elected mayor again in 56 for another term, I've got to have an issue that I can deal with now. The decent citizens in this community are getting sick and tired of all the killing and the crime in the streets. So. Let's give them a, a target that they can focus their anger on to. John, let me put in a word. Really, this numbers thing does look like a good shot. And you got a ready-made villain here. This Pasha person, you see. <laughs> the police chief is on line four, Mr. Jabbar. Good old Harvey, dear love. The weakest of my enemies calls me. Drink it, drink it. Mama Lottie makes it especially for me from the real herb. Wait, It'll Nathan. make you strong. You can't go in there. Mr. Jabbar is busy. Nathan! Nathan, you can't go It's in all right, there. girl. It's all right. I hit 369, and Do Dirty told me you wasn't going to pay off. You've seen Do Dirty? He told you I wouldn't pay? I paid Do Dirty for your hit yesterday. I always pay. Although it's not often somebody hits me for $7,000. Sit down. I don't want to sit. I want my money. Do Dirty will be here in a few minutes to make his deadline. In the meantime, I'm going to sell you a house. Go on, sit down. You've got a little brother, a son. Little Billy Jones? Yeah, a brother. I see him growing to the Conwells every day. <laughs> He's a hip little cat. I think he's got some kind of a hustle going already. <laughs> What's your name? Nathan. Nathan Jones. Little Billy. He sure eats a lot of potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> Chips. 
this man too dirty is in the chip. Tell his damn father he don't live there. No, look at him. Good afternoon, Pasha. Have you seen my new car? You remember Serene, don't you? Huh? And Nathan Jones, of course. Do dirty nigga! Listen, man, listen, man, listen, listen. Shooting cutting women on niggas, that's old time and shit, man. I haven't got to that yet. Man, I'm still talking about trying to go up the side of your head, nigga. But I got your money, man. I got your money. Well, where's my money? Look. My number came in the day before yesterday. Now, do I have to turn you upside down and knock it out of you? I got some of your money. I got some of your money. I'm going to kill you, you child nigga. What good is this life when it's money you want? What are you going to do for Nathan, do dirty? I bought a car and I got $3,000 left. You want the car? No. Well, it won't hurt to look at the wheels. Now give me the keys, do dirty. Do dirty. Yeah. Keep do dirty with drug up yeah. in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, in a common ordinary old brown paper stack. Come on, do dirty. We're going for a ride. Come on. Come on. Hey, he's still alive, but it don't look good. That bad, huh? Yeah. Do you have a family, wife, relatives? I a wife and two kids. I'll take care of them. Okay? Jimmy Rush for me. Yes, sir. Where's Serene? I don't know. She was just here a minute ago. Sneaky bitch. Listen, sweet man, I got something for you to do. Still, the police chief here may be right about the risks involved in an all-out attack. Now, this is 1956, and you just can't count on what... Chief Dearlove, who is Pasha? And what do you know about him? Well, Edwin Austin is his real name. He calls himself Hakem Jabbar. Everybody on the South and the West Side know him as Pasha, or The Pasha. Now, what the hell kind of name is that? It's a nigger name. Have you seen him? No. But you know where he is? Not precisely, no. But approximately, yes. Well, how can you be sure that he even exists? How can you know the numbers exist? The whole policy racket. These people are very clever about the concealment of betting slips and money. Hello, Mr. Conwell. Billy Jones. Give me a taste of them chips, boy. They look so good. You hold them so tight, I know they just got to be good. You'll have to take my word for it. The amount of money generated in this betting game is enormous. Let me have my undercover man explain this numbers business to you. Wiley, would you step in here a minute, please? Gentlemen, this is Officer Wiley. Officer Wiley, explain to the gentleman the uh, numbers business, please. All right, Mayor Delaney, Councilman. Our investigation shows that Mr. Pasha controls the numbers operation in the city. He has established pickup stations for his runners, and we have found out that he runs his operation very successfully. He controls pickup men, hey, pimps, what? houses of what prostitution, politicians. Cool. What? I said, cool. Man, I just made me a little score. A score? I hit. You what? And when you hit, you hit. <laughs> I dig. Hey, man, I'm fine. Give me some. Got money to get me some wine. I'm nigga rich. Uh-huh. Ain't that a switch? Yeah, man. The rich nigga. Rich nigga. Didn't remember the name. Remember the name. Say nigga rich. Nigga rich. Ain't that Box. 
if you really, really care. I said, niggerettes, niggerettes, put my dream in mind. You know I'm good for you. Shop. As soon as you get your piece over. You working for the man. Are you kidding yourself? I live here, man. My name's Sweet Man. I've been here 30 years. I work for Pasha, son. Funny people. And I see you at the Bijou the other day. Yeah, you. A nice little blonde under your wing. What are you fighting the man with? Pillowcases and sheets. Hey, sweet man. You early today, ain't you? I should running my black ass off. <laughs> <laughs> How come the Pasha got you? Hustling so hard. Trouble, Brother Winston. Trouble. You mean like in white folks' middle name? But I meant home folks that have said aggravation. Yeah, I heard some of them Italian businessmen been robbing the pickup men bad lately. Shit. That's nothing new. They've always been robbing. My piece don't know an Italian for nothing else. Some jive cops that bug me. The man don't mess with you. Who? What's the matter with you, man? Ain't you registered to vote? This is an election year. And every four years, downtown looks up and sees black. Protects is so high now, it doesn't pay to pay. Catch you later. 321 fall, I'm gonna catch you. You just can't keep your mind off the fancies, can you, Brother Winston? <laughs> 321's gonna screw you into the ground. <laughs> Let me play your number. Let me lay your number in today. I know what it is. Don't even tell me. You really do? You know I do. Hey, uh, I gotta get by to see you sooner or later, but it's just a busy way. Hey, don't leave, sweet man. Hey, baby, well, you know how it is. The number game is now. I and want I'll catch you later. I want you to come by. We'll be there. Give me my numbers. Get it, Billy. Come on, Billy, I taught you better than that. Pull me down. You're supposed to get on the legs. Get me on the legs. There you go, Tim. Pull him down. Pull him down. There you go. There you go. Now we're strong. Billy, someday we'll move away from here. Far away from here. I want to be a football player and make lots of money and buy a big mansion. Billy. I'll probably take care of you all your life. I'll be a millionaire before you get out of sixth grade. I got this job with the posh. Good evening, Willie. Evening, Mr. Jabbar. How's that new baby of yours? Tie in a mother of both great. 
That's good. Take care of him. Yeah? Okay. Jimmy, did you do what I told you to do? I said I did. Everything? Everything. Just in time, too. You know, they blew my man James Turner away today. Just when I was hassling with Do Dirty over a hit. A big one? A young blood named Nathan Jones was ready to eat Do Dirty alive. <laughs> and I was ready to let him. But that was before I got the news about Turner. I figured I better cut down on inside friction because we're going to need everybody we got. Everybody. Nathan's going to be with us, too. This kid. Did you pay him? Do Dirty paid him. But I want you to train him. How much time have I got? None. Just, you know, take him around with you. Is he good? Yeah, he's good. I've had my eye on him for quite a while now. Did Serene call you today? That bitch don't mean nothing but trouble. Anybody love blood that much. You ought to let me do whatever she's supposed to be taking care of. And I don't make as much mess. Serene's little ugly number will be fine for some time. But over the long haul, I want you right here, close to me, you understand? You know, white girls would be just fine if they had a little more behind. It's just a different thing. Yeah, but with me, I love hips, you know. With them, it's strictly what's up front that counts. silent partners this evening before we go to the meeting. Tell Willie Glenn to keep the motor running. As soon as I'm dressed, we'll go by Mama Lottie's. Good evening, Mr. Javar. Good evening, Mr. McDonald. How are you this evening? Find yourself, sir. Good, good. Did your son-in-law get his business straightened out? Yes, thanks to your help. That young lawyer of yours is a fine young man. Yes, very intelligent. He told my wife, my daughter, and me to hope for a suspended sentence. But he went and got JoJo acquitted. And he said there'd be no more record. Very resourceful young man. He understands the white folks. That's what it is. He's been to their schools. He knows how to speak their language. There's a rumor that you're going to sell this building back to the whites. No, I, I don't think I'll sell it. Is that all right? Kingston got McDonald's son-in-law quit it today. The old man's elated because it's lighter on his pocketbook. <laughs> Good evening. It is, now that I know that JoJo's out, okay? Huh. McDonald told you, huh? How my son could marry that old prune's daughter. I'll never understand. <laughs> What's it I smell? You tell me first. Do it smell good? Don't look at me like that, honey. Before you know it, I'll be done stuck you and put you in the pot of the greens. <laughs> Where's Romaine? Taking a bath, I guess. I heard the water running a while back. For the last five years, I guess I wouldn't recognize you. Where you been? What you been doing? You ain't been doing nothing for me, that's for sure. You left out here at 8 o'clock Tuesday morning, and it's now 8 o'clock Wednesday night. Well, you didn't even call. I could have been into anything in that time, anything. Oh, yeah. Now, listen, babies. You just get into anything you want to. 
Absolutely anything that makes you a little hard after you <laughs> You must think I'm crazy. Lay another help of them chitlins on me, Mama. I was just going to do that. What time is it? 8.30. Let's go. I'm just waiting for the pipe. Just the pipe. Poppies do me more good now than young girls. Okay, Pops. But maybe some night when you're smoking your dope, you ought to let me. <laughs> <laughs> Lighten it for me and the three wise men. I want to play that number tomorrow. Oh, Don't right. let me forget now. No, I won't. Why do you always come in the front door like that? Always oh, the busiest time of day. Aren't you afraid of being seen? <laughs> being seen? I'm a man. I do what I do. Anyway, most of my friends and all of my enemies know that I come here. So why should I sneak around and try to hide my relationship with Mama Lolly? Besides, if I wanted to go by unnoticed, I'd just make myself invisible. <laughs> That's the most words I ever heard you put together, Jim. <laughs> Feeling bad? Mm -hmm. Smoke some opium. Raise your head. <laughs> On you? Kiss my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, baby. You came on me so quick. I really didn't know it was you. Jimmy. Come on, man. Come on. How much time we got? Enough. 
You look bad. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Need some help from me? Hmm? That's why I'm here. <laughs> you won't let me love you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything to eat? I'm hungry. Hungry? You? What kind of trouble you got? I'll get to that. Can you give me something to eat? Raphael! Hey! Raphael! Yeah! You'll come. Cook you some hot stuff. Fiery stuff. Take your straw. You, uh, drink that tea I make you? Let me tell you my other troubles first. I heard from Police Chief Harvey Deal of the day. One of my best customers, usually. But lately, he ain't been coming around as much. He's scared, Mother. That pig afraid. Who's the wolf? Perhaps there's a whole pack of them. But the one with the biggest mouth is Antonio Ferraro. Tony? You have got nothing to worry about. Number's not his business. He sells dope. Heroin, you know. Anyway, we got an agreement, Tony and me, for operating this little opium concession. No takeout, no delivery. Strictly cash and snort. <laughs> you don't bother me. I thought of that. I've got friends down in Mexico. But you know me. Sitting around on my butt is not my thing. I've got to be right out there in the middle of it. Of course, later, should it become necessary for me to leave the country, I want to depend upon you making all the arrangements. We'll move so fast, no one will be able to figure us out. But I have a question. The police chief has been in our pockets, and so has the mayor for four years. Now they want to get greedy. Why now? This is the question. I sure wish I knew what Tony's promised them. I think this is his office. Uh, I think the room's supposed to be in the back. Okay, use your light. All right. Let's move. Come in. Jimmy. Come on, man. Let's go. Conchita, ain't you working tonight? No, I'm not. So this is the only place it can be. Must be a fake wall. Yeah, just as I thought, there's room back there. Willie, drop Raphael off somewhere close to the office, but not so we'll be seen. What about in front of Axis Church? Do it. Charlie's found. Come on, Joe, there's an easier way. Oh, shit! You mean we did all this work for nothing? Where is everything? Very simple. The mayor wants to get reelected, right? The only way he can is give the people a scapegoat, right? The chief's the only one that can organize a raid. So, we pull a couple of phony raids. I guarantee within the next two weeks we'll arrest somebody, but it ain't gonna be the Pasha. You run on inside, Jimmy, and get some of the guys to help. 
Stay in the car, Willie. After it's unloaded, turn around and get ready to split, okay? Whatever it is going on over there, it ain't robbery. Ed, those guys could be up to anything. That's right. And if you're out here busting your balls trying to make police sergeant, just remember one thing. You don't see no police sergeant out wandering around in no dark alleys and no nigger neighborhood trying to find out what's going on. And it don't matter what. More. We bet what we have here. Hey, hey, hey. What are we carrying? Why is crazy? But he's got you doing all the work. Whatever it is, is heavy. Damn. What you do, man? Break your nails? No, I laid an egg. <laughs> hey, I ain't going out there again. Is there any more? That's it. We got it all. It's about ten. Man, what you mean? Our operation. Listen, Brother Jabal, you had a good thing going here for you. Small time business for some people, but good enough to keep you in the Cadillac, fine wines, and drinking cutty. And nice women, too. But don't be trying to put our Chevy drivers out in the street for you when your ass is on the firing line. This ain't no we shit. This is you. Man, don't you know the white folks are trying to get rid of you? They want to take over the number business themselves. It's as simple as that. And I'm ready to do business with him. Don't make no difference to me who the banker is. I ain't got but a nickel invested know-how. A nickel of something's better than a nickel of nothing. Blame it. That's why my insurance is so high. That blame cop scared to investigate. You remember that when you had your first disagreement with Tony. Jesus Christ. What are you wearing that big mama llama for? Well, when I called this meeting tonight, I figured I might have to kill me a couple of niggas just to keep everybody in line. It's better if everybody's more afraid of me than they are the man. My name ain't Jesus. Your name don't have and to be. You, was your name I, Jesus and, when he got you out of jail 50,000 right. times? That don't make no difference. It makes a lot of difference. I ain't dying for nobody. Hey, so, man. Right. Don't punk out, man. It's time to stick together yeah, now. Good. Well, let me I, tell I, you I, something. I, when the going gets tough, Pasha's going to pay for the baby's shoes. Pasha! Raphael. Well, you see it there, there five, <laughs> five more. Right, <laughs> sir. <laughs> good to see you. They raided your real estate place, but I see you got to wave balls clean. Yeah, well, you got to give Jimmy Rush credit for that. He'll probably have that big body you got with him, and he's a tough customer. Don't worry. I'll give him both barrels at once. We'll be gone before that bodyguard gets up off the ground. What have you miss? It's your life. How can I miss? Pasha, what are we going to do with your equipment? We can't run the operation from here. Not now. We just can't do it. What's in the box? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot about the boxes. It's not my equipment. It's mainly guns and ammunition. All kinds of weapons. Jesus! Wow, man. Small guns. Handguns. What's this for? What are they for? What are you doing? Sasha, what are we going to do with all these things? You make your own decisions about that. I brought these things here for you. Do what you want to do. We've been talking all night about how we're going to protect ourselves. Now it's up to you to piss or get off the pot. If you want to throw them out in the garbage cans, go right ahead. But I'd advise you to distribute them or get rid of them as quickly as possible. Because you may be raided as early as tomorrow morning. Oh, man. And then again, maybe not.
I love niggas, but they make me tired. Well, I don't like all this talk about war either. Most of our people ain't killers. Conwell with a gun. <laughs> Besides, we don't have to go to war. <laughs> we can outrun them. You said you're sure there's a contract out on you. Well, I do know what I'm doing, Pasha. And they'll have to get by me to get to you. Your loyalty overwhelms me, man. But I'm going home. Yeah. Catch you later. Cup of coffee. Don't bug me this morning, Pee-wee. I ain't got no dime. I know you made some money. You don't drink no coffee, no, huh? Yeah, I told Joan. Joan wouldn't let me have a dime. Well, we got money. It's all right. I don't think we get it. Hey, baby. You were clean last night, down to your natural toes. You know how it go, trying to make it, trying to make it. Where did you get that fine red bone, baby? She gave it to me. Damn, how'd you get by me? You, you be next. Yeah, no next, man. I don't want no second action. I see you still stuck with that 219, baby. There's the day. I hope for the broad's sake you can. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, brother, what it is? I mean, see, I see, I you pay. played the number last yeah, week and they didn't pay. Yes, sir. Now you want to play in my book, right? I'd like to play. Okay, well, what's your number, man? My one, two, three. I tried to get you on it last week and yeah, you died. Yeah, but, but, but I had it before. Cool, cool. You yeah. owe me a dollar and a half come Saturday. Okay, all right? I'll pay you. And stop but, diving. All right. All right. Go, go. Everything cool.
Pasha, I only called to give you bad news today. Go ahead. I'm going to have to raid you a few times. Raid some of your places, that is. Mm, it's the mayor. Election time again, you know. So I'm going to play lamb for the wolves again, huh? Well, if I can't make a good enough show for him, he's talking about putting together a special squad of hand-picked officers and calling them stress. Responsible only to him. They'll pick up where we leave off. So where does that leave for me? I'm sorry, Pasha, but he's given me a deadline. Now, if you'll just give me two or three arrests, maybe the whole thing will blow over. Do what you have to do. You all know you're going to get busted in a few minutes. Jesus Christ! We're going to need some help. Everybody out the back way now and take something with you. Oh, man, don't be trying to put me in it. I'm just shooting the game of pool. If I wanted to work, I'd be on my job. At least them folks pay me. Okay, come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Can't even shoot a good game of pool around here. What's wrong with you people? Make me lose all my money like this. Just one way out, fellas. Haul ass and stay free. You gotta hustle, babe. Come on, hustle. Pick up something and take it all out with you. Jimmy, hang loose. You take the car and Serene. I'll take Joe's car. Jeremy 12, 3 Jeremy 12. 3 Jeremy 12, go. Spotted Pasha Javon in the valley at Riverton and 3rd. Suspect in right the 30 zone. We'll try to apprehend and search suspect on speed technicality. Head of the unit, Spotted 3 Jeremy 12. and just disappeared. Where are they? In the proprietor stepped out for a minute. Look, you gorilla, don't play stupid with me. I asked you a question. Where are they? Like I said before, the proprietor stepped out for a minute and he left me here to take care of things. And I don't know nothing about any gambling. Why are you... Run, nigga, but you can't hide.
Natasha, when are you going to get some respect for my thing? This thing, the law, it's what you pay me for. I'm telling you, I can get him out of jail, and they're not going to kill him. They wouldn't do that anyway. This is 1956. Just get Jimmy Rush out of the can, Sam. And don't give it an hour. Sam Kingston to see Mr. Collins. Oh, yes, sir. He's expecting you. Go right in. I have some papers for you to see. Sam Kingston, you're the attorney? Yes, I am. Just a minute. James Alfonso Rush? operation is? Well, Passion say for you to call Conwell. Answer your question. I just had a cup of your daddy's old nasty coffee. Honey, give me a little thing of that South Patica there. This what you want, Miss Green? That's it. What you dreamed last night, Maddie? Ooh, don't ask me. Don't ask me. That's getting into my private business. Ever since my old husband died, Lord, Lord, seem like I don't dream about nothing but some young men. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must play the same number every day, then. It come out yet? No, but when it do, I'm going to stop dreaming and get myself a young, strong man and give him anything he wants. <laughs> She ain't got a natural hair on her head. I know it for a fact. Then go sit up in church with that. Can't you hear that phone ringing? You don't want to go to school. The least you can do is help out around here. Lazy heifer. Conwell's. Following Nathan Jones? Okay. Oh, you follow me, little Billy. Shut up, Nathan. Mommy sent me to the store. Nathan Jones, you've got to get rid of your pickup. The lookout said they saw the cops following you. Give me a bag. Big bag. Grab some groceries, little Billy. Mama, I'll be home later. Take her to work. Next shoot to 20. Come on, come on. Turn up the tennis suite. I'm hip to our troubles. They stand right up to here on me, you know. But our number's not up yet. Not by a long shot. True, my man dear loves been able to make a few busts. Paul been a few busts. 
all through my district and picking up people, right? Be long before Bayo calls me more than we pick up. Listen, sweetheart, I don't tell everybody my business, but I want you to understand, Bayo ain't got that high yet. You see, your district's not the only one on my map. And regardless of the hassle, the man ain't arrested nobody where he picked up any money. A few slips, yeah. A little change, yeah. But no money. You see, $100,000 runs through my steel safe each and every day. Tony and May are fuck up notwithstanding. Now that's a lot of Panatellas. And my kids. You understand? So we gotta move again. We gotta move, that's all. But we're running out of places. Except on this side of town. And with election so close, they're ready to do a door-to-door -door search. Well, then we'll just have to stay out of folks' houses. Where's your car? Down the street. But the cops know it. So does Tony's boys. Get another one from someplace and meet me in front of Axel's church in an hour. Reverend Axel? Hey, now he's a fool, but... Gentlemen, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut out on you now. the door open for her, too. Who are you calling fool? Shut up a minute. That couldn't have been her. Whatever it was, it's gone. I thought that that's what that sounded like. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, uh. Axel. Oh, Axel. I hear you in there arresting the temptation. Any other time, I wouldn't trouble you. But believe me, I've got some very important business to discuss with you. That's Pasha. Woman, you crazy? Don't open that door. Oh, well, wait a minute. I didn't know you were a religious woman, girl. But I'm glad to see that you're taking the right path. Reverend, I'm here on a very important mission. Why to me? Because you're a man of God. And now is my hour of need. You don't have to look at me so funny, Parson. You know, every man has some weaknesses. Exactly. Now, that's what I came here to talk to you about. Those people in the community whose weakness is playing numbers. Pearl, your closeness to the preacher doesn't entitle you to hear our conversation. What? Go down in the basement and get dressed in the women's bathroom. Reverend Axel, how do you spend your days? What it is, baby? 321, bro. How much? Well, over 25. All right, who do I see? Who do I see for this money? Gonna see it, brother. We're gonna play off. Oh, okay. Look here, man. We're gonna How about play my off money? the same thing. You no, well, I, no, I want my it's money. Cool, bro. Yeah, but get now. Is that right? Man, I won't. Right. Listen, 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 listen to me. We both have to get out. You listen to me. I won't. You're going to get your money no matter what. The hell what you talking about. I want my money. You're getting it. Bro. I want We're it. We're going to split it. We're going to get our money. Listen to me. I oh, won't it. buy money. You, you hear me? It. You got it, bro. I'm going to get it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Someday we'll move away, far away from here, Billy. I'll probably take care of you all your life. Get up, Nathan. Get up, Nathan. Get up. Don't cry, 
Billy, don't cry. Take any part of it. Take it all. In the evenings, though, it's mainly when it's busy around here. And most mornings, the church is just standing empty. That's right. Sweet man, what are you doing here? Girl, where's Pasha? He's in the back there with the pastor. Thanks. Hey, sweet man. Later, baby. Well, what's Later. going on? I didn't come here to explain my system to you. I just came here to tell you I gotta use the church. Pasha. Sweet man, you're early. Couldn't wait, Pasha. Couldn't wait. What's this? Nathan. I got the kid, Nathan. Tony, that son of a bitch. I thought he'd try to get me. He will. He has. Where'd they leave, Nathan? Home. Who found him, his mother? For Christ's sake, man, speak up. Who found him? His... His brother, Low Billy. The two dudes that did it have been located. Mama Lottie's got the stuff made up that I want you to use on them. All you gotta do, Serene, is get to them and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Is this gonna be a freak scene? Oh, we're gonna take turns. What turns? Ain't you a hip man? Oh. You want to learn in Mexico. They yeah. do it to jackasses down there. Track out the Mexican tequila. You got to drink somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Say, baby girl, what's taking you so long in this? I'm gonna pee if you let me. You don't have to do it back there, damn it. I told you from the beginning, I'm just looking for a full show.
Hello, Cappy. I want to see Tony. Tell him, tell him I've come to make a deal with him. Who is it? Natasha. Alone? Yes. All right, send that nigga around in here. Did you fresh come? What is it you want? To keep our business between us. That's the way I wanted it from the beginning. I was too arrogant. That's always been my only fault. Can you dig it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me fix you a drink. What do you have? Scotch. Good. You look terrible. Too bad about that kid. But I warned you. I hope he wasn't one of your boys. Seems like you've been producing kids ever since you was one yourself. <laughs> you and me came up together just like that. I always loved broads. Tall, short, fat, skinny, white, black, sweet flesh. I still do, Hakeem. How about you? What are we going to do to settle this mess, anyway? The Chicago bosses are tired of waiting. I'm tired. You're tired. What's the solution? I thought perhaps you might have some ideas. You Italians were always good at that kind of thinking than us. Old colored folks. <laughs> you too. You know, if you knew what I was thinking right now, I've hated you for a long, long time, Akim. And right now, at this moment, I've got you right here in my hand. I could kill you, you know that. I still got your gun, Hakim. Yeah, the one you got for me in your restaurant. You've always been a man of honor, Hakim. Something I never could stand in a nigga. Now I want to see that honor put you right in your grave. Are you willing to pay the price to see me and mine? Lay it on me. There's a game. It's not Italian, it's Russian. It's a kind of roulette, a special roulette, but you play it with life. You see? You drop a bullet in the barrel like that. Then you revolve it. You put it to your head and press. You do it, Hakeem. You do it. Just in case you think I tricked you, you take the first turn. Put the gun to your head and pull the trigger, if you can. <laughs> you remember when we were kids? It was always you that wasn't afraid and I always panicked. God almighty, how you used to torture me. Do it, damn it. Do it. You're a creep, Tony. You never have known how to play fair. What difference does it make? The littlest noise in your gimp leg goon will be in here with a hand grenade or something. No, no, this place is completely soundproof. Nobody will come unless I call them, and I won't. I swear, I'm going straight down to the wire. Luck is with me tonight, you ugly son of a bitch. It's got to be. It ain't worth it unless I can whip you just once. But you're afraid to give me the satisfaction, aren't you? You're afraid to put that gun up to your head.
niggas always want to go to heaven, but they don't want to die. If you weren't so arrogant, it could have been okay. But you had to have the biggest gun going. Now somebody's brains are going to spill all over my carpet. I had the pin file down. I didn't want your stinking blood spilled all over my good stuff anyway. I just wanted to see you sweat. <laughs> now that the ceremonies are all done, both our ancestors will be satisfied. You <laughs> How'd you get here? Anybody follow you? Nobody followed me. I hear music. Well, you said you wanted a party tonight. You got one. Yeah, we can celebrate now. I did Tony in tonight, and his bodyguard, Kathy. Oh, well, you can't stay here then. Cause you get Mama out of big trouble. My business is all straight. I'll be gone before morning. Well, there's a whole new change of clothes for you upstairs. You stay here, I'll go get them for you. Oh, by the way, Serena's in the room down the hall. Are we gonna hit Pasha? Nah. The contract will take care of Pasha. All we gotta worry about is that Serene. That flashy broad ain't gonna be hard to spot. Come in. It's getting hot. I think we better cool it for a while. I know how to contact you if I need you. Here's your dust. It's all there in small bills. Thanks, son. Take care of yourself. Way to Mexico City by now. Stop worrying. Raphael's brother will fly us off before dark. Here are the tickets. Uh, Willie, did you take care of the Cadillac? Cadillac can do a lot of things, but it sure can't swim. And I put that baby on the bottom of the river. <laughs> Chief Dealer will spend a lot of time working out that problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want to smoke a pipe? <laughs> it's not opium. It won't make you nod. It'll make you see clearly. What is it? It's not reefer. It's special, a special plant that's come out of the ground around my old home place. 
Is that supposed to make me strong, too? It'll make you remember who you are. Well, let's try it, then. <laughs> Lord. Been here three hours. Wonder when that broad's gonna show. Here comes somebody now. Well, that ain't serene. Tony said get serene. So we wait till she shows. Cool it. He's coming over. How about a light for the cigar, Betty? People works for me. Well, I know who to take care of to get rid of that. No, no, I don't think you do. Hello, Mr. Sweet Man. Listen, old Billy. Stop spending all your time on the corner. Go home, your mama might be looking for you. Tony, I thought he'd try to get me. They will. One of his main runners is Sweet Man. The Sweet Man. Sweet Man. Ah! 
Tony's not the one I want you to kill. There's some things a passion must do for himself. I know who the rat is. You don't know where the I'm operation is? Posh is there to tell you to see Conwell. There. I had the pin file down. <laughs> I didn't want you to spill all over my good stuff anyway. Greetings. Goodbye, Mr. Sweetman. Five, I'll get you ten, get the betting in. Seven come eleven, you can all go to heaven. Make some change, rearrange New York Stock Exchange. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There's only five days in a week. Five bucks for a penny, risk a penny. Scheme and dream and dream and scheme. What you playing? The numbers game. Three, six, nine. That means shit in the dream book, in the dream book. Two, two, two means crying. Eight, nine, eight means dying. Dick Smith and a white woman was on my mind. Lord, here comes seven, eight, nine. Seven, six, five, and it's good to be alive. Show me money, funky, funky. 